Welcome to another video on Mr. Freeman Art, Learn, Improve, Enjoy, Centered Pattern. In today's video, we're going to draw some simple shapes many times. It's almost like a warm-up exercise to start off with, drawing simple shapes again and again. Now, there is a worksheet here, but there's no reason why you can't do this straight into your sketchbook. So get a simple pattern or shape that you like, and then just practice drawing it repetitively. Get confident at drawing them so you can do them quickly and easily. Once you're happy, then go to the centre of the page and start working outwards from the centre. Work quickly, but remember to keep it neat and precise. Don't try and overthink this, just keep working, keep drawing the shapes. Keep changing the shapes from one to another so there's not too many, and just keep going, working out all the time from the centre. We have the whole page to fill. This design has gone a little wrong because it's a little bit too symmetrical for my taste. But I'm not going to start again. I'm just going to finish it. I don't believe in practicing beforehand because it gives a false impression for the videos. And an architecture friend of mine once said, when I asked why he hadn't used symmetry in his work, he said, Mr. Baseball Bat doesn't like symmetry. And that stuck with me for my entire design career. So. I don't like making things symmetrical if there's no reason for them to be symmetrical. Don't worry too much what it looks like, just keep working. Because until the page is full, you don't actually know how the design's gonna look. So we just, just keep going. Keep it neat. When you do the circles, make sure the line matches up with the other side of the circle. We don't want messiness. And, and try and keep them, the gaps a similar amount so, so it looks neat. It's very easy to space things out a lot more on the outside because there's a lot more work involved as you get further out than there is from the centre. But just keep going and the sum of the parts will be far greater when it is finished. On this video we've just used simple shapes but in the next video we're going to use shapes that represent a project that you're working on so that they help to answer a GCSE syllabus question. So you get a page in your sketchbook that's interesting and different to anything you've done before. Remember a full sketchbook is a good sketchbook. Everyone should be able to do this task and in under an hour, so you get a lot of work for the time you've invested. You also improve your pencil skills and hopefully the speed you can work, because all these things are important in order to get as much work done in the time you have available. Don't completely fill the page. At some point you decide that's it and stop work. Look out for the next video when we will develop this further so you can win at GCSE Art. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more top quality videos.